Hey, this is Francois, and I'm going to show you quickly how we could create a Power Automate that sends an email on a trigger. Let's get so what it means is that I'm going to have a trigger, which is a SharePoint list. So I will create the SharePoint list in a second. The SharePoint list is going to receive a new item, or maybe this item will progress through a workflow. And when once it is in a special stage, then I want to send an email, a bit like a newsletter, automatically to a group of people. All right, so I'm going to use the work progress tracker as a template, but it could be anything, it could be a new list, just from scratch, it would be fine. So let's use this template, create the list very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to accelerate the video so that I can go through all the steps of creating it. So let's carry on. I'm just adding a few entries here just to say when there's an entry, there will be lots of metadata filled in. And then we want to have this email being sent to someone, but maybe a group of persons. So let's see. When the progress is in progress, nothing happens. But when the progress now is completed, I want to switch completed as soon as it's finished saving. So it means when you click outside, you are saving on the left, it will actually send an email. So to do so, we need to go to Power Automate. And over there, I'm going to do a new Power Automate, but quite instant, right? As soon as there is an, an action on a different element, which is the SharePoint list. Let's go ahead and skip everything for now. We're going to give you a, a new title, a new name of the Power Automate. I like to be very clear on the name. So the name will be usually my, my project, project name, so that we don't we're going to have hundreds of Power Automate and maybe lots of colleagues and lots of employees in the organization create Power Automate. And if they share it, well, they should share it. Don't keep it to yourself so that more than one person can edit it. It means we're going to have lots of Power Automate. So be very clear on how you name it. Anyway, so project uh, XYZ and then this one is going to be send newsletter. I call it newsletter, but it can be anything on a SharePoint item status completed right okay so now it means we want to start on sharepoint so we just click the trigger which is sharepoint it's when an item is modified not just created so item is modified and then we carry on and again i'm going to go accelerate it to select the site select the list then maybe give criteria so criteria is going to be really key because over there you will be able to add a new step to say condition right so we're going to have a control condition and say if the status is completed then i continue otherwise i go on the right hand side and i just stop the power to make simple all right let's do that together so So now we have all our steps. We want to have the condition completed. If it's completed, then we send an email. And then, yes, we send an email to maybe a group of people. So let's say I have some names over there. I will just send it to the right. Send it to maybe my sales and marketing. So everybody in this group is going to receive a copy as well. That's it. We just save the workflow and then so the great thing is that the email is really simple to build over there, but we may sometimes want a bit more advanced, right? So we may want to do some uh, formatting over there. And you can see that, yes, we have things like formatting. So if I say click open and put it in bold, italic, etc. But it's still limited, right? However, this one, we're going to switch this mode into HTML mode. And it means that in the middle, I can actually have things like a bar, for instance, oops, the other way, a horizontal bar in the middle over there. I can add some HTML. So I can go to an HTML editor, format my text, and then paste it over there and replace by variable. 
So very simple to receive or to send. Can we test it together? So we are testing it now. We need to create or modify actually a uh, item. So if I go to the second one, I could just change the first one as well. But I'm going to go to complete it. So it's the one with construction. If I click outside, it's saving. So when it's saving, edit workflow is going to realize that there's a change. Let's have a look. Moment of truth. Obviously, it's getting the first one. We can see that it's fine. Condition now. Is it true or false? Ah, it's not going through here. That's a shame. So what is this? Oh, it's false. It's false. Okay. So maybe I uh, did the wrong spelling because this is called completed. And let's have a look in our workflow. Here is what happened. So I have progress is uh, okay. So it's not the progress that I want. It's actually the progress value. Go away, go away. Here we go. And uh, if I select the correct one now, it's the value that I want. Dun. Test it again. This time you don't need to modify uh, a um, or add a new item. You can do automatic. Recent. Take the one that I've just done, save and test, and then it's going to do the same test on the same item. Let's have a look, already run, so expand the condition. Now you can see it's in green. So it means that, yeah, it's true. So it's really the value that we got now, and it's doing sending the email. Okay, let's have a look at the email, and then job's done, all good. Here we go, you can see the shared email here, says the marketing. I can just subscribe to it, so I will receive it as well. And the message, as I said, you can make it HTML, this one is not. And therefore the link can also be made in HTML. When I click on this link, I will arrive directly into the item so I can action something. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know in a polite way. And I will continue making it. I don't care. I hope it's useful for everyone. Bye. Bye now.